Speaking at the hearing, Chairman of the Committee and members of the House questioned stakeholders involved in the sale of the company and the process reflected in the sales of the company. You will call for bid two companies uh, submitted their quotations. Now, trans, uh, Dan Gote trans, uh, stroke, uh, Transcorp bidded higher. Indorama bidded less. Now, what is, the, uh, what is the reason, what is the justification for calling for another bid, whereas the bid already by, the, by what you submitted here, the Dangote Transcorp bidded higher. What is the rationale behind calling for second bid if there is nothing fishing? Because we want to get these things right in this country. No, well, you know, this impunity must stop. Oh, no, this no, is really, no, no. So why can't you be straight on this matter and uh, answer the question straightforward? The gentleman was asking, let me ask you clearly the same question. Let me repeat it for you for the last time, please. What was the price of the company at the time? What was the value after the due process that you followed to evaluate it? That's it. We're not asking for the parameters that was used. Responding to questions, Director General of Bureau of Public Enterprises, Olatunde Ikwerowo, explained the process involved and said due process was followed. We opened the first one. Everybody will hear. In fact, it's being televised. Anytime we open bid, national bid, all over the world, because foreigners are involved, they watch this, you know, the process and the procedure. Third party interested, however, expatiated reason for buying the company. Basically, what we want to drive the point that any segment we decide to come in, we look for segment leadership across the world. And the same is the philosophy which was applied in LME Petrochemicals, where when we decided to invest in LME Petrochemicals, it was just not to buy that plan, but with an objective to convert that into the largest petrochemicals hub of Africa. LME Petrochemical Company was sold to Indorama Nigeria Limited.